This is Jim Ball reporting in Greenbrier. I'm at the intersection of Church and Main Street, and obviously what we have is a home that is a total loss. This is a, an older home. It's probably 80 to 100 years old, uh, one of the oldest homes in Greenbrier. What's worse, though, is that Martha Sharp, the owner of the home, was severely burned in the fire. Life flight was called in for Martha, but due to a mechanical malfunction, uh, the helicopter was not able to complete the journey. Uh, the nearest uh, backup helicopter was over 20 minutes away, so they were forced to uh, send her over to Vanderbilt uh, via ground. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but Martha did tell firefighters at the scene that she may have gone to sleep with a cigarette in her hand. Mr. Sharp was at work at the time of the blaze. Uh, the reason the firefighters were on the roof is because they have an 18-year-old granddaughter who was pregnant uh, living with them, and it wasn't immediately known for sure whether or not she was in the residence, and so uh, they were doing their best to try to confirm that she was not in the uh, uh, house, and uh, as you could see from the footage, uh, putting their lives at significant risk to, to try to make sure that she was not in there. There was certainly a big sigh of relief when they confirmed that she was not in the home. Making things even more chaotic, the woman you see on your screen is completely unrelated to the fire. She was uh, having severe chest pains, uh, according to Billy Wilson, the fire chief, going in and out of consciousness, probably having a heart attack. She couldn't get through because of all the emergency vehicles. According to Billy Wilson, the fire chief, uh, she probably lucked out, though. Um, if she had tried to drive herself to the hospital, uh, she might not have made it. Secondarily, um, all the firefighters and emergency personnel were right there on hand for her, and they were able to begin medical treatment right away. So there's a small chance that this fire may have saved her life. Fire and medical teams were dispatched from all across the county, including Ridgetop uh, and the White House Community Volunteer Fire Department, uh, uh, Robertson County EMS, of course, Greenbrier Fire, um, it was a team effort to go after this blaze, as you can see, uh, engulfed this home. As you can see, uh, our camera is well over 100 feet away from the house, but even with that, we were still able to feel the heat from the flames. Fire crews were working hard to keep this fire contained uh, uh, and not allow it to spread to other structures. I'll tell you, we are really lucky that we've had all the rain that we did recently. There was one point where the house sort of exploded with embers. Uh, we looked straight up and they were over our head. If it had been as dry as it was last week, uh, this could have sparked a real problem for fire crews. The last update we had on Martha Sharp was that she made it to Vanderbilt and she was listed in serious condition. If the Sharp family decides to approach the community for assistance or a fund is set up in their name, uh, we will provide that information to you as soon as we have it. After the fire had been contained, uh, Billy Wilson, the fire chief, stepped aside and uh, gave us an update on the circumstances of the fire. Lady was at home, she was in bed, fire woke her up, severe burns all over her body. A uh, 61 year old female, her husband was at work, and we thought her granddaughter was home to start with. Because normally the granddaughter's here and she's 18 years old and uh, pregnant, so. Life fly couldn't fly for some reason, so I sent a firefighter and drove her to Vanderbilt, drove the medic unit to Vanderbilt. Even the lady herself told me that what she thinks causes it, she thinks she went to bed with a cigarette. So. That's unusual, you know the calls at, at the beginning. Hell, the house is gonna be pretty much a total loss. It's one of the oldest houses in Greenbrier. Where was she when you guys arrived? She had come outside. When I got here, me and one of the police officers got here first, or actually both of my police officers. And when we got here on the scene, she was out here on the back porch. We got out right in the yard. I started evaluating her. And then once she got her, Started, I just started treating the wounds and put O2 on her, and then the ambulance got here, we put her in the back of the ambulance, and then they went on to Vanderbilt. Bill. How long do you think it's going to take her to recover? How bad did it look Pretty at? severe, pretty severe. Was she sitting? Right Where was she when you came out? When you sitting right there by that, where those two bottles of water is, right under that tree. She was sitting on the ground there? Well, yeah, when the officers first got here, she's on the porch. They were walking her to the ground when I got here, so... We, and we don't know how much smoke she inhaled neither, so that's going to be a critical, critical point. But she's she severely burned. Get, well, as far as getting here, I, you know, I was here within a couple of minutes. Also, we started patient care. I had an engine here in a couple of minutes. We got Greenbrier, anybody else here? I got White House and uh, Ridge Top. First medic unit I sent to Vanderbilt. Second medic unit was in route. I had a... 45 year old woman trying to get through to go to the hospital. She was having chest pains. So I took her out and I started treating her. Then I had the second unit take her to Northcrest. Then I got a third unit here for standby. So this is our third medic unit. 
So that yeah, that woman was she? She wasn't in she the house. Was trying to get through here to go to the hospital. She was having chest pains, and she couldn't get through. She was unconnected to this. No, she just happened to be having chest pains and left her house trying to get to the hospital, having severe chest pain. So I started treating her for that and got an ambulance because I already had an ambulance coming back to take distance place. So then we got her in the back of the ambulance and took her to Northwest. Yeah, she just got blocked by all this, which actually get I had her help quicker she could have got to the hospital, so it might have worked out. You think she was having a heart attack? She was having some strong chest pains and she was going in and out. She was starting to get where she was going to pass out, so she had something going on. Smokey would like to wish a speedy recovery from Martha Sharp. This has been Jim Ball reporting for SmokeyBarn.com's Robertson County Daily in Greenbrier. When you're facing a medical emergency, time is critical. Every minute matters. And today, time is on your side because Northcrest Medical Center is ready 24-7. We have the experience and expertise to act decisively and the leading edge technology crucial for life-saving surgery, letting you get back to the life you love. Northcrest Medical Center, bringing exceptional care to our community.